of my goals for this spring. Um, you know, two years ago I won here, and you know, I, I knew my condition was good, so I wanted to try again. The the team really did super today. You know, we rode from the very beginning to make it a sprint, and the work Robbie and Coldo and Jack did in the last 20 or 30 k was was perfect. You know, I, I had perfect position all the time. I had perfect position for the sprint too. It was just. Uh, you know, Kittle was that little bit faster than me. Uh, I kind of felt like I was clawing it back at the end, but it was too late. You know, he was the strongest guy in the sprint today. Sure. In terms of the last 20th, I mean, Garmin did a bit of work, or quite a lot of work during the step, during the race. Where were you in terms of the last 500 meters in terms of teammates? Yeah. Um, well, with the rain, it, it got pretty scary. <laughs> so you know, we we definitely burned some matches that we would hope to save for the last 2K. Um, just to kind of stay out of trouble, which I think with the crashes that happened, it was worth it. Um, and then Jack Bauer did a super last 2K, just, you know, not letting me sit right behind uh, Rabobank and keeping me out of the wind, um, just on the side, which is exactly what I needed. And like I said, I, I had perfect position and I feel like I did a pretty good sprint, it just wasn't quite enough today. Could you hear the crashes, see the crashes around you? I heard a few, yeah. I, I definitely wasn't looking anywhere but it was straight ahead, but yeah, I heard I heard them and they didn't sound very pretty. What goes through your mind when you got that to concentrate on and then obviously the race itself? Oh, you just, you just block it out. I mean, you know what happened, but you, know, you just try and focus on the, the task at hand. Sure. You were in that big break in, in Flanders last weekend. How are your legs at the start of the race today? Um, I didn't feel super the first hour or so. I definitely needed to get the body moving again. I mean, I've ridden really easy in the two days since Flanders, just trying to recover. So, you know, it was it was a pretty easy start, which was nice. I was able to kind of ride into my legs as the day went on. And in the end, I felt really good. Um, but yeah, after such an effort on Sunday, you know, you, it takes a little while to get the body moving. Could that have been the difference today? Ah, maybe. You know, it's hard to say. You can always second guess. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm still happy that I, I did Flanders and did what I did. You know, I think that was the, the best Flanders I could have done this year. So, you know, that's also an important race. Sure. The spring campaign is almost done for you now. Yeah. Um, how are you assessing things for yourself? Good, but not great. Um, I haven't been bad this spring. Um, things also haven't always gone my way. Um, you know, I, I think my form's been good, and, you know, like I said, I think I did a, a pretty decent ride last weekend in Flanders. I really wanted to win today, um, so I'm a bit bummed that didn't happen, but you know, the form is good, and it wasn't like I got completely smoked, you know, it was, it was quite close. So, you know, we have, we have one more big date left, and, you know, I hope that. I can I can help Sumi double up in Roubaix. Could it be you that goes in the long break again? Oh, we'll see. You know, we we haven't had our meeting yet. I don't know what job they'll uh, they'll assign to me. But you know, Roubaix is a different race than Flanders. So you know, Flanders, especially the new Flanders, is so hilly that you know we had to play me in a an earlier role in the race. But you know, Roubaix is dead flat, and I ride the flat cobbles pretty well. So. No, we'll see. I'm, I'm happy to do whatever job the team gives me, and like I say, as long as we put somebody up there on the podium, I'm happy. Just one more question, just on Marcel Kittel. Where, what's your opinion of him? How good is he? How good can he be? Obviously, he's really good. Um, his his power in the sprint is pretty amazing. You know, so you know he's a big guy. I think he's uh, you know he's always going to suffer in the mountains and the Grand Tours a bit. But you saw in the Vuelta, he was already winning in his first Grand Tour, and. We'll be seeing him a lot over the next 10 years or so.